Hey guys, so today we're going to be testing out this super dehumidifier once again for the second time since we moved into this house. So last May, I think it was, was it April or May? Um, about a year ago, I made a video on this when we first moved in and I showed it running. Uh, the fan on this unit is completely shot. Uh, the bearings are so badly worn that you can actually hear the play when you move the motor shaft up and down. Um, not sure if I can demonstrate it now, but let me give it a shot. Yeah. That's the motor shaft moving up and down in the bushing. So it's very badly worn, and when you power it up, it kind of gets stuck in one spot, even though it seems like it's free, but the bearings are shot. So what I'm going to do today is I wanted to see if the uh, refrigeration system actually works or not. So I'm going to simulate the fan by just having a box fan sitting in front of it, and we're going to power it up. I haven't ran this since last year, so I'm gonna, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully there's no spiders and bugs living in here. I checked quickly to make sure nothing's gonna come flying out at me, but anyways, we're gonna get this set up and see how it goes. All right, here's the plan. So I'm going to have the box fan sitting in front of the dehumidifier, and that's going to draw air through the refrigeration system through the back and out the front, just how it should be. And uh, we're going to fire up the compressor first because there's a lot of people out there that I know who love the sound of compressors starting up, including me. This is a Samsung compressor. It's charged with R12. And maybe that's a date code of 1986, I'm not sure. Made in Korea. Everything seems to be in good shape. So what I've done is I disconnected the fan, so the fan is not receiving any power, and I'm going to just fire it up, have the fan in front of it like this, and that should simulate the dehumidifier in proper operating conditions. So here is the compressor on. It's super quiet. Alright, so... I can hear the refrigerant flowing. It's pretty much at ambient temperature right now, but... Yep. So now I'm going to place the fan on the front and crank it onto low speed. Yeah, that's drawing plenty of air through the back. Now, unfortunately, I do not have an infrared um, temperature gun. So I don't think I'll be able to show you guys the accurate temperature readings of the coils when it actually gets cold. Speaking of that, it's actually getting cold already. Yeah, it's starting to get cold from here. That's where the charge is flowing in. Oh yeah, that's ice cold already. Mm, it's not that cold here, but it does take time for the refrigerant to make its way through the entire coil. Alright, so it seems to be working, and that's a good sign. So while that's running, um, I do have a plan for this. What I might do is I, I plan on buying a new motor for it. So I'll swap it out and hopefully we'll have a fully working unit. And I'll maybe I'll put it to regular use, who knows. I was thinking about just getting a scrap dehumidifier that I can salvage the motor out of, but then I'd be left with a, quite possibly another working dehumidifier that I just stole the motor out of. So I just figured that I'd just buy a separate motor for it. Fans moving plenty of air. Compressor's running. Oh yeah. You can actually see the uh, water condensing on the coils. There's ice forming on it. Oh yeah, it's starting to get cold here too.
yeah, it seems to be working. Now, I'm not gonna run it long enough for it to start collecting water, but maybe for a few, another few minutes just to see how cold it gets. All right, well, I've got a kitchen thermometer here. We're gonna test it out with this. This is all I have. So hopefully this will do the job. It's not gonna be super accurate, but as you can see, the temperature is creeping down. I'm trying to keep the probe as close to the um, dang, I forgot if this is the evaporator or the condenser, but the coils as possible. Yeah, it is getting cold. And I'll switch to Fahrenheit for those who are using that system. Yeah, you get the idea. It's getting quite cold. So, it is working. Alright. Testing was a success. I'm going to shut the fan off. And shut the compressor off. You can hear the R12 still flowing through the coils there. You can actually see the condensation starting to happen. I wonder if there's any water that's actually collecting there. Now it's icing up, but it's not dripping yet. Looks like it's getting pretty quiet in there now. So there you have it guys. That was a quick test of the super dehumidifier. I think there's a lot of potential for this project to be successful once they get the motor replaced. So we're gonna do that this summer. I know in the last video that I made of it a year ago, <laughs> I said I was gonna complete it that summer, but that didn't happen. So this year we're gonna make it happen. Um, I measured the motor's dimensions and I think I found a good replacement, so. Hopefully that will come in soon, and once that comes in, we're going to do a restoration on this thing, and hopefully we'll get it into a solid working condition once again. So there it is, guys. A quick test of the 80s, I believe, super dehumidifier. More videos are on the way, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Alright, here's a quick little extra video. It's been about five minutes since I concluded the video. You can see the water condensing at the bottom here. All along the bottom there. <laughs> so it is working. There's some in the bucket. So, a good sign here. The, uh, I really should familiarize myself with the terms, but the inside coils are also looking very clean. You can see it right through it. For the most part. Alright.